Today I'm going to continue with looking at spawners and I'm going to be looking at falling sand spawners created uh, using the summon command and the set block command. Okay, so in case you don't know what a falling sand um, spawner is, if I, for example, come close to this spawner over here, you'll see that it actually summons falling redstone blocks. Now, this is actually not redstone blocks. This is actually falling sand that appears to be redstone blocks until it actually uh, comes to a rest. And until it falls, it'll look like uh like redstone blocks, but it's in fact it is actually falling sand. Okay, the reason this falling sand is actually disappearing is because I've got a half st uh, a half slab there, which means that the moment sand hits a half slab, so if I just you know build up, let me show you. So if I build up a um, little pillar like that and I drop sand on a half slab, you'll see that it actually breaks the block and it drops the block. Now this is the nice thing about the falling sand uh, spawner is that I've actually set it so that it doesn't actually drop. Uh, the block. Okay, um, so that's what the falling sand is. Now you can create, you can change it to be any block you want. It can be diamond blocks, it can be chests, it can be anything, anything, anything you want it to be. It can be, for what I'm going to be using it today is I needed a redstone block. So what I'm looking at today is um, the various checkpoints uh, in, my, uh, in, in Minecraft, how, how to make various checkpoints. So the first one over here is a single use checkpoint so the moment i come close to it you will see that it'll it'll flag it once okay and it won't actually activate again so no many no matter how many times i come close to it and even though it's spawning blocks it won't actually activate again until i reset it by actually removing removing those blocks over there now this is very very useful if you have some kind of adventure map or run map or whatever where you want a timed event and the event should only happen once okay now obviously your output signal will be over there like so okay so if I take that away I come close there's your output signal okay right very neat very tidy the second one is a timer okay so this is actually you can say oh not a timer sorry this is a this is kind of like a clock so if I uh, just let me just put a little let's redstone lamp over here so when I come close to this one over here okay you'll see it'll kind of t it'll, it'll it'll pulse right so what is happening is that as this as this a redstone uh, block is dropped, I have a set block underneath it that actually immediately removes it. So in essence, I've now created a, um, a location-based clock. So to kind of show you how that actually works, so if I'm, I'm going to put a repeater over there. So when I'm close to it, okay, you'll see it'll continuously fire. So let me just give you, it'll continuously fire until I move away. Right. No, 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 fire, 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 until I move away. Right, so that's the first two that I'm I'm using. Now, the third one is my kind of my favorite one. So let me just activate it. And it's, it's kind of a single use, so it's exactly like this one, except it actually, the spawner gets removed after the first use. So it's not going to leave a whole bunch of spawners lying around, constantly testing, lagging your world. So once this is activated, and let me show you, so once this is activated, it outputs a signal, as you saw, checkpoint. And then, then it deletes the redstone block as well as the spawner itself. And you just reset it by, you know, replacing the redstone block. Now, the way that this can be used is that you can add another block over here that spawns the spawner at the next checkpoint. So once that's removed, gives you, outputs a signal that you've hit that checkpoint, then re removes that um, spawner and then replaces another spawn and another checkpoint so you will kind of have you can have like a hundred checkpoints but you will pretty much always only have one um, spawner currently running okay now so you even though I've got these based directly underneath it so they are falling just one block down it doesn't have to be like that it can be anywhere in the world so for example to show you if I move on this red block over here you'll see it'll spawn the block over there and it'll give me in the chat the checkpoint uh, that it gave me before. Same with the blue. If as long as I'm on this blue, that firework over there will constantly fire. You see, as long as the moment I move off the block, it'll stop fire firing. Move on the block, it fires. Move off the block, stops firing. Okay. Right. And now I'm just going to take it a slightly further to kind of give you guys an idea idea of how it can be used. Over here, I've got four command blocks. They just checkpoint one, checkpoint two, checkpoint three, and the end. So basically what I've, I've got is I'm going to have one, so I'm going to spawn one uh, spawner. The moment I come close to it, you'll see it drops it on there and it gives me a checkpoint on the bottom. So 
the reason I've oops, so the what I, the reason I've um, put them in a row like that is that I've put them in a row based on the Z coordinate so that I know I all I need to do in the spawner is change um, one coordinate so I need to add one to each coordinate to get the, to spawn in the row so this row can be as long as you want it can be double row whatever it doesn't matter so to show you very very quickly how you can actually use this I'm going to go into my little test run area over here and we are going to add those checkpoints without MC edit at all okay so if I run over this gold block you'll see nothing happens at all okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add that command in there so this command is exactly the same as the other uh, mob spawner commands that I've shown you in my other video okay so if you want to know more about the mob spawner and 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 detail how it works go to this video now okay so let's move on the only difference between a uh, normal mob spawner and this mob spawner is that it now has some extra data so the spawn data the entity ID is falling sand so it's spawning a falling sand entity it's 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 spawning it at this particular position now this is those row of command blocks so this is the first command block okay the tile is what uh, the command block is going to turn into right so that 152 is your redstone block time is just um, how long that block needs to be displayed for tile ID again you want the tile ID again which is the redstone block and this over here is the drop item. I've set it to zero. So when it does drop and break, it won't actually br uh, drop an item. So you won't have this constant blocks dropping. All right. Entity ID is falling sand. Uh, spawn count is one. So it's only going to spawn one. Spawn range is one. So it's only going to spawn it at that one spot. The delay. So the first time it will spawn an item when it detects a player is one tick. The minimum spawn delay is one tick. So it will keep on spawning every one tick. Maximum delay is also one tick, so it'll continuously spawn. Okay, uh, the max nearby entities is set to one, and the required player range is set to two. Okay, so it'll detect me when I'm on top of that block. So detect it's player range two. Now this player range you can expand, make bigger, make I mean, you can't really make it smaller, but you can make it much bigger. So if you do want to uh, use the timer that I or the timer type thing or the the clock type thing that I that I created. You can set this to a larger area. So let's say you do want to have like a capture the flag when there's um, four people or a person in a 10 block radius. You can have this clock running that can do like a timer and such. Okay, cool. And that, that's it. That's all it is to the command. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to create that spawner. I'm going to go into the block. Okay, I didn't actually. So I'm going to go in there, save it. I'm going to create the spawner. I'm just going to check. It says block place. So it means the block is there. So it's underneath the gold block. Okay, now I'm not going to go close to it because I don't want to actually activate it right now. I'm going to go high up. I'm going to go to the next gold block. Okay, I'm just going to step a little bit away. Okay, I'm going to paste exactly the same command, but this time I'm going to just move the Z coordinate on by one. So we're now going to go 444. Four, four. Okay, uh, I'm going to place it like so. I'm going to go in. It says block placed. Great. So I can remove the two and I can go over here right the next one so this time I'm gonna change the Z to uh, 4445 four, 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 okay and I'm just gonna place it and it says block placed perfect and then last but not least I'm gonna pop that on there okay and I'm gonna change it to six four 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 six right six there we go and I'm going to right and it says block placed perfect okay so all we now need to do is actually test it to see if this now works now you see I did this all without ever touching MC edit okay very very cool okay and here we go run run okay let me just give me just make it a bit more interesting and there we go checkpoint one oh, I don't actually know what would be good good run music uh, checkpoint two and running and I'm 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 running and checkpoint three and I'm running and I'm running and I'm running and I'm uh, that's terrible sorry that's very annoying and voila the end that's it see <laughs> I know I always say this <laughs> it's very simple very easy so please do go away go make stuff show me show me what you've made I mean th this checkpoint system can be fantastic uh, and you can do so much other things with this as well I'll 
continue with this series. Well, not really a series as such, but I'll continue with my explorations in this. So just to show you, here's all of those blocks that I that fell while I was actually running. Okay, and you can just reset it by having something just come and psh, remove them all. Okay, uh, guys, yes, thank you very, very much for watching. And as always, I will check you all later.